In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can connect a VoiceFlow chatbot to your Facebook Messenger bot so that your customers can interact directly from within Facebook with whatever you build on VoiceFlow. As an intermediary solution, we are going to use make.com for our workflow automation. Don't worry, you don't need to build everything by scratch because we already created templates that you can just import into VoiceFlow as well as into make.com that brings all of the features that we pre-built for you. This specific chatbot supports both text messages and buttons within Facebook messengers, but you can of course extend it if you want to. I will also try to keep this video as simple as possible, so I will not go too much into detail what each and every of the automation steps does. So you can just check it out yourself in case you're interested and want to learn more about it. All right, let's just right dive into it. Let's first head to Facebook so I'm kind of, I'm able to give you a demonstration. So you can see we already have a chatbot available, which is on our Indigraticus page. So I'm just asking it something like, what are, oh, let's say automations, for example. When I asked it, what happens now in the back is that Facebook Messenger is communicating through make.com with our voice flow chatbot requesting the information and sending it back. As you can see here, it gave us a response based on what automations are and it's asking us as well if we want to have another question and it also provides two buttons, which is a very simple setup that we created inside of VoiceFlow. I'll select no for now since this is just a demo and I want to show you how everything works in the setup. By the way, you will find all of the templates that we are providing within our resource hub under hub.indigraticus.com. Once you have an account there, which is free, so you don't need to pay anything, you can go into here and you can just download the VoiceFlow template and the make.com scenario of Blueprint, which both can be imported in each of the services. Once you've downloaded the VoiceFlow template, you can head into VoiceFlow and actually create a new VoiceFlow bot or a VoiceFlow assistant using the web chat feature. Once done, you can import this specific template and it will look something like this. So I will just make it very quick and go over each of those steps. So as you probably know, start is of course the start of the conversation. So we don't want to have any specific message in the first place. Once the chat is open within Facebook, the user is the one who makes the first interaction, right? So the first thing we are going to do is we capture the user reply and then straight go down to the next block, which is a block that asks first a question to ChatGPT using the following prompt. So you basically say that the, the AI should answer the user question and it should keep it conversational and concise. We're using the standard configuration and uh, this, we apply the response as a variable to actually output it afterwards in another text field. We build it this way because it's just easier to implement within make.com. You could basically also use it as a response, but you may have to adjust something within the make.com template. Then we send another message that says, would you like to ask something else? And then it goes through a simple conditions or in this case buttons, which basically shows or represents the buttons within the Facebook Messenger chat. And this would be great if it works right off the box. The problem is that the structure that VoiceFlow sends through the specific requests requires some different implementation, which is why we have a not sure button that actually classifies the things using AI based on a specific value that comes through. So this is a little extra step you need to add for buttons so that the buttons are visible and you can actually send information through with text. Then if the user says no, we just say thanks for reaching out. We do the exact same for the classifier and otherwise we just go we could just go back to the beginning and ask another and you are and the user is able to ask another question. And that is literally it for the VoiceFlow chatbot. Once this is set up, you can head right into make.com and import our scenario from the resource app. Once you imported that scenario it looks something like this and don't get overwhelmed it's quite a couple of steps but i will just quickly go over them to explain what they do let's start at the beginning so the first one we have is a facebook messenger trigger which basically is a webhook that sends that facebook sends whenever a new chat was started or a new message was sent for a specific page or a business or a group you can configure that of course this is probably the most complex of all of them and to make it as simple as, as possible for you i provided another manual because what you need to do is you need to actually set up an app within facebook so this app needs to be configured in a specific way as you can see here you basically have to add a callback url which is the webhook that is provided from the make.com scenario. You add it to it, you verify it, and you set some specific permissions, and you assign the page to it, and you can already test it after that. What you need to keep in mind is, before you can actually take this app live, you need to ask Facebook to verify this app for you, because they have, a strict, reg they have strict regulations to make sure that their apps comply with their standards. Anyways, with that out of the way, we can head right into it and go to the next step, which is an HTTP call, 
What this does is basically it takes care of the whole communication between your VoiceFlow chatbot and make.com. To actually use that, what we're going to do is we head back into VoiceFlow and we go over to the integration and we go to Dialog API because this is the one we are going to use. So once you have imported your template, you have to take and copy the API key and you have to paste it within the HTTP module. You will see there's a field for it within the, in the header settings just so that you can authenticate with it. Do the exact same thing for this step, which is basically the same as this one. We just have it in a separate route because if you start a conversation within VoiceFlow, it might not be that there's actually a message sent on the first, the first time because it's basically initi initiating the flow and it could be empty. As you can see here in the conditionals, if no answer was given, we will try it again. And if it works, then we save the stuff to a variable and just continue with our, with our execution. Then if an answer was given, go to the iterator. The iterator basically goes through the response from the voice flow and classifies them based on what type it is. So we, use, we work with both the text and the buttons, which is the separation of both of them. If it's a text, it will just take the Facebook app and it send it straight back. So for this app as well, you need to click on it and you actually need to set up your connection here and you do the very same thing for the other Facebook setup. Once that's done, you're basically ready. Everything here is just formatting, so you don't need to touch any of that. Again, the only things you need to touch is the Facebook Messenger. This is the most complicated one, so you need to set up the app within Facebook. Within the HTTP, you need to add the, the dialogue API that is provided by VoiceFlow. You do the exact same thing here. For this specific action, you have to just set up your connection with Facebook and you do the exact same thing for this one. And that's already it. Once you connected all of those points, you can activate the scenario down here. And once it is activated, you can already start testing on your Facebook page. I'll show that again. Why are olives green? So we are now waiting again. Basically everything runs through the whole scenario, checks if it works. And as you can see, it gives me an answer back. Would you like to, do so, to ask anything else? Please choose. Now I'm gonna say yes. So what happens is it will basically redirect us, says, great, feel free to ask your question. And now I can ask another question, which is exactly this route from here. If yes, we're gonna go here and then we go up. So once you set up this specific scenario, you're basically done with make and you can just start configuring your voice flow chatbot the way you want it. And it will represent it the same way within Facebook. If you have a team and you want to add other people to test it out or to try it, you must add them as a developer within the Facebook app that you created for the trigger. So the webhook trigger, because otherwise they will not see it. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. You will find all of our resources inside of our resource hub so you can use them for whatever you feel like.